Border Watch. News and information. Roberto Salinas reports. The United States and Mexico, along with 98 other countries, have negotiated a treaty that would dramatically increase international cooperation in the effort to curb narcotics trafficking. The nations would have to pass laws enabling them to confiscate the proceeds of drug smuggling, as well as airplanes, boats, cars, and other property used by smugglers. The treaty would also prohibit governments from invoking bank secrecy when law enforcement agencies in other countries seek financial records of suspected drug traffickers. San Diego health officials have ordered three to 400 migrant workers living in a Carlsbad campsite off the property. Health officials sent the property owner a warning several weeks ago to remove structures, trash, and debris that violate health and safety codes. The owners were given 15 days to respond. The owners said that they would act as quickly as possible in order to abate the health hazard. In Mexicali this week, Baja California Governor Kiko Leva Mortera delivered his annual State of the State message. The governor reported that Baja California is growing in leaps and bounds. In the address, he stated that Baja registered a surprising growth in all aspects such as population, economy, infrastructure, and at the cultural level. Leva, in his two-and-a-half-hour, 99-page speech, said that 1987 saw the largest increase in tourism since 1929. Ensenada became second only to Cozumel as Mexico's most visited port city. He also stated that the deficit of money directly controlled by the state government will be eliminated by the end of the year. Education has been upgraded so that 72% of elementary school children graduate and 80% of the state's high school children graduate. The maquiladora or twin plant industry continues to grow and is now the most dynamic industrial arm in jobs and earnings. But opposition to the governor's remarks were strong. Critics flatly discount official statistics, citing items such as more crime, university repression, water shortages, and drugs as their chief concern. You're listening to Border Watch News and Information. Mexican border area plants, known as maquiladoras, assemble everything from toys to TV components. Now, in an unprecedented move, a U.S. company wants one of the plants to start assembling warplanes. Vanguard Unlimited, based in Douglas, Arizona, says that it's close to concluding negotiations for a plant in Agua Prieta, across the Mexican border from Douglas, Arizona, about 475 miles southeast of San Diego. Rod Pennock, the president of the company, said that the first Raider Hawk planes could be rolling off the assembly line in about a year. The idea would be to assemble an inexpensive, easily maintained patrol plane designed for third world countries. Pennock said that the plane will retail for around $140,000. Optional pods for machine guns, rockets, and flares would boost the price to around $180,000. The options also include a cluster of six 25-pound bombs. The Mexican Council General in San Diego, Hermio Lopez Basols, says that for every new job in Mexico, 500 more babies are born. Half the population is under 14 years old. To balance the scale, one million new jobs a year must be created in Mexico. The Roman Catholic Church has become a government ally, urging adults to have fewer children. At Bonita, just a skip from the Mexican border, Fire Marshal Richard Yokley was unpacking shipments of fire extinguisher signs in English and Spanish. It turned out to be a strange and puzzling sight. The English signs are made in Mexico. The Spanish signs are made in the United States. I'm Roberto Salinas reporting for Border Watch.